What's up, everybody? Robbie here with the Nerd Cave Network. I am joined along with... Tiffany Grant. How is FandomCon treating you so far? Uh, FandomCon's great here in uh, Fort Walton Fort Beach, Walton. Florida. It's lovely. Yeah. So you've had a lot of people coming by t t today and, of course, yesterday. Sure. Sure. So Lots of uh, great fans coming by, signing all kinds of fun merchandise, okay. telling stories, <laughs> chatting, <laughs> hanging out. It's good. Yeah. So uh, what actually got you into to acting? Uh, what was your inspiration? And um, I don't know. I, I've often said that I think acting is, is, is a congenital condition. It's kind of a birth defect that you're born with, and you have this compulsion. So I just always felt like I was an actor, and so okay. I had no choice but to pursue acting as a career. And I just sort of, uh, by luck and circumstance, ended up working in anime, and it's pretty awesome. I love it. Like, I know there's a lot of people who thoroughly enjoy you know voice acting and stuff like mm. that do you have uh yeah. any tips for people who are wanting to try to you know bust into the industry um well really i mean if if people have that that same congenital problem and they they feel compelled to act i would say pursue it you know uh, get uh, some training that's very important uh, you don't necessarily have to have a college degree or anything but you should take classes you should study do improv uh, get involved with local theater groups things like that you know and uh, just really um, find out you know how it is for you and uh, there's no really one path into any realm of acting I never really imagined when I was, you know, a teenager that I would end up mostly working in voiceover, but that's just what happened. So, uh, you know, I think just pursue acting and the opportunities will present themselves to you. If you get too focused on, I only want to work in video games or I only want to work in anime or just this one little tiny niche thing, I think it'd be so easy to get discouraged. So just pursue things that you're interested in and I think that just through karma, yeah. that I think things will just come your way. I, I think it'll yeah, be good. The more you're able to do different things like acting, voice acting for video games and right. all that stuff, the more doors you can have Exactly, open. exactly. It's like you, you get into it just by doing it. Yeah. And, um, I mean, my, my first audition to work in anime almost 22 years ago just happened because this new company, AD Vision, that had just started, they were looking to hire some actors, and they said to all of their friends, hey, if anybody knows some actors, tell them we're having this audition. And an old friend of mine found out about that and called me and said, hey, I remembered that you're an actor. <laughs> so it's like because he knew that I was yeah. an actor it was the reason I got that phone call. So that that's what I mean is like get out there, just start doing stuff, even if it's like projects on the Internet yeah. or, you know, um, an independent film or just whatever it is. And then you meet people and you find out about other projects and you network and you make friends. All and about building connections. Exactly. Very much. Mm -hmm. All right. So like what's you do a lot of of. Uh, voice acting for animes. Mm -hmm. What's mm -hmm. one that you are known for? Uh, probably well, the one that you're wearing. <laughs> well, yeah, I, if, if you can see my shirt, <laughs> I don't know how much I am in the frame here, but uh, yeah, the show that most people know me for is Neon Genesis Evangelion. I played Asuka. She's a loud redheaded one in the, uh, in the TV series and also in the films. I've been playing Asuka now for oh, about 18 years. Um, and then some of the other shows that people would know me for, um, Infinite Stratos, that was Laura Bodevig. Um, right now, I'm in um, a Kamiga Kill on Cartoon Network. Okay. I play uh, Koro. He's the little adorable dog that has a secret <laughs> magical power. Um, gosh, there are a, a lot of shows that people come to me for. Full Metal Alchemist, I was yeah. in that. I played Marta. She's the snake chimera. Um, I've done hundreds of roles. You just, yeah. just Google me. You'll yeah. find them all. There's a lot. <laughs> so what has been your out, the, the one you've most enjoyed doing out of all of them? Uh, to be honest, the thing that I most enjoy is that after almost 22 years, I still get to do this. That is what I enjoy. I just enjoy doing it. Just the work is great. I, yeah. I love it. It's too hard for me to pick out, you know, one or even two or three particular roles. I just, I really, I just really love doing voice it. acting. Yeah. It's really fun. Well, that's good. Um, who's been one of your most, your favorite directors to work with uh, in the 
anime world. Oh, I'm afraid if I name someone, <laughs> I, I could get in trouble. I, I don't Why don't I, I'll just pick Matt Greenfield because that's the one I married. So we'll just say hey. that it's Matt. <laughs> Like, Maybe it's not Matt. You can't you can't go wrong there. <laughs> Do you have any like shows coming up or events coming up that you would like to to make known? Um, well, um, since I've already plugged um, Akame Ga Kill, uh, the other show that I worked on, which is also currently on Cartoon Network, immediately after that at midnight, um, well, it's, uh, one, I guess, 1 a.m. Eastern Time and yeah. uh, midnight Central, but uh, uh, it's called Parasite the Maxim. I'm not in it, but I wrote the English scripts for that show. Okay. It is really uh, absolutely one of the best TV shows that I have ever, ever seen. It's a, just a fantastic show. It's really, it's compelling. It's dramatic. It really, I, I just loved it. I think it's a fantastic show. So I would recommend for anybody to watch that for sure. I'm really very proud to have gotten to work on that. Yeah, like I'm trying to get into anime. So I'm gonna, I'll check those out. And Parasite the Maxim. Yeah, and Parasite's definitely an entry-level show that um, you don't have to have some background in anime yeah. to watch Parasite the Maxim. It's just it's a very compelling story. It's actually based on um, a manga series that was written um, over 25 years ago okay. um, in Japan. And um, it's just now finally coming out in an anime form. And... Um, a film studio in Hollywood bought the rights up. They thought, oh, this is such a great story. We're going to make a movie about this. We're going to make a TV series. And they never did. And so those rights got tied up for over 20 years. And then finally they were able to make this um, animated TV series. And it is just terrific. It's really great. Awesome. Okay. Last question. This is the, the big one. Who's your favorite superhero? <gasps> oh, my favorite superhero. Okay. Very cheesy. But I'm going to have to pick Batman. Because when I was a kid, I I loved the old Adam West <laughs> TV <laughs> show. And uh, when I was, I think, seven or maybe eight years old for Halloween, I dressed up as Batman. <laughs> and uh, when I was about eight, I was very sure that someday I would grow up and marry Adam West and I would become Mrs. Batman. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awesome. You just made Zach very happy. <laughs> Well, I sure do appreciate you making time for the Nerd Cave, and I want to... Thank you. You know, good luck with the rest of the con, and have Thank a safe you. trip home. Hey, all my best to all the nerds. Oh, where can they find you? You have a website. Oh, I do. I do have a website. You know what? My, my webmaster, the website has actually changed addresses ah. a few times, so I'm just going to say... Type Tiffany Grant into Google, and my website is the first or second thing that comes up. Okay. Don't look at Wikipedia, though, because people yeah. post a lot of weird crap on Yeah, it. you want to stay but away yeah, from that. Just, just Google me. I swear to God, my website's been around for like 17 years, so <laughs> you'll find me. All right. Well, like I said, I appreciate it. And guys, stay tuned for more uh, interviews for the Nerd Cave Network.